Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to a video. So this is a little different. I wanted to kind of touch on a couple of things. Things that get brought up to me, questions I have, all sorts of fun stuff. Um, what is family friendly? Good question. At least I think it is. So to me, well, let's take some games, for example. Is Roblox family friendly? No. As much as people would like to think it is, it's not. If you think about it, you got a game, Murder Mystery. You literally got a guy with a knife going around, chasing people, stabbing people, and a guy with a gun trying to shoot him. But everybody kind of excuses it because it's Roblox and it's blocky and, you know, not graphic. But it's still not family friendly. Uh, Arsenal, straight up a shooting game based off of other games, still not family friendly. Uh, there was a game called Killer Clown or Escape the Killer Crown, Escape the Murderer. All of these games are not family friendly. Now, there are some games in Roblox that are, but for the most part, a lot of them aren't. But people excuse it because it's Roblox and it's blocky. What about my favorite game right now? Sea of Thieves. Is that family friendly? Nope, it's not. You got guys on a ship, they're stealing from other ships, they're shooting cannons at them, they're shooting them, and you know, they're not, it's not family friendly. It's, they're swinging swords at them, um, you know, stealing, drinking on the ship, you know, it's not a family friendly game. Um, what's another one? Fortnite. Fortnite's not family friendly either if you think about it. You're running around shooting at other people, taking money and stuff like that. But again, it gets kind of blown off because, you know, you're supposedly a hologram or whatever the case may be. So that's not really family friendly. Uh, Call of Duty. Nope. It's not family friendly either. It's, it's a war game. You know, you see blood. You see, you know, the shooting. There's even some language if you don't turn it off. I still play it, but it's, you know, not family friendly. Grand Theft Auto, the big one. That is definitely not family friendly. They, they don't even try to hide the fact that they're not family friendly. But all these games I have played. I got hours wrapped up in Grand Theft Auto. I play Call of Duty. You know, I play Fortnite. I play Sea of Thieves. I used to play Roblox. Does that mean I'm not family friendly? because I've played these games, or I still play them for that matter. No, I think what makes a family friendly streamer is the streamer themselves. Um, I don't swear, I don't drink on my streams, I don't, you know, I don't use foul language in my chat. I don't, you know, I don't allow it in my chat, um, but I play all these games. I've got hours wrapped up in Grand Theft Auto. I would like to stream Grand Theft Auto. Okay, but it's it's a thing to where... Hi, and you're gonna see a cat. It's a thing to where people would see the game and consider me not family friendly, which is not the case. Because when you come into my stream, you're not gonna hear me swear. You're not gonna hear me use any kind of bad language. Um, I won't be drinking on stream like I see some streamers do, which is okay. I mean, if they want to do that, that's fine. Um, but I am still family friendly. I enjoy games for what they are. They are a game. And that is all they are, a game. I don't care if it's Grand Theft Auto. I don't care if it's Call of Duty, Sea of Thieves, Fortnite, Roblox, whatever the case may be. They are a game. They all got their qualities. Roblox is a free game. Everybody likes that because everybody can get in and play. Fortnite, same thing. Everybody likes it because everybody can get in and play. Call of Duty, not so much. But a lot of people like it because it's got gorgeous graphics. It's basically a more... I don't want to use the word, but I'm going to use the word, so I'll probably get ridiculed for it. Adult version of Fortnite. Um... Sea of Thieves, again, it's a game that not everybody can afford, 
but a lot of people like it. Grand Theft Auto. I go in and I join a group called Peaceful CEOs, and all we really do in that group is just run the missions. That's it. Collect money, buy cars, soup the cars up, own them, sell them, whatever the case may be. But I am still a family-friendly streamer. I know people who play a lot of different games, and they are still considered a family-friendly streamer. All these other games, they're technically not family friendly. Roblox, Fortnite, Call of Duty, Sea of Thieves, Grand Theft Auto. Some of them hide it better than others and others are just blatantly open about it and will tell you that they are not family friendly. So the next time you see a family friendly streamer streaming Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, or some other game that's the game itself is not family friendly, but they are. Don't pass judgment on them. Watch them. Watch them have fun. Enjoy the game. Grand Theft Auto has got gorgeous graphics in it. I will get into a car and sometimes I will just drive around the city and, and park the car and just walk. I mean, it's like being in a little bit of a grittier version of Chicago. I mean, it's really just a gorgeous game, but I play it for what it is. It's a game. I don't take anything in the game serious. It's a way to escape my reality of my job and the things that I have to put up with. So, what makes a family-friendly stream? To me, it's the streamer, not the games that they're playing. So, don't forget, I do stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and sometimes on Saturdays over on Twitch. There will be a link in the description. And uh, as always, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You know, leave it a like, leave a comment. What what do you consider a family friendly stream? Is it the game? Is it the streamer? Is it both? Let me know what you think. I, I think it's a good topic for discussion. But uh, I will see you guys in the next stream. Bye, everybody.